Hi, I'm Robin Doolittle, and I'm a reporter with the Globe and Mail's investigative team. In my work, I file a lot of freedom of information requests. And today, I'm going to teach you how to file one. Most public bodies in Canada are subject to access legislation. This includes provincial ministries, federal departments, and municipalities, but also thousands of other institutions like hospitals, schools, police services, transit agencies, and crown corporations. In general, if an institution is funded by tax dollars or controlled by government, it is likely subject to FOI. Know that there isn't one access law in Canada. Every province and territory, as well as the federal government, has its own. There are some differences, but the broad strokes are the same. You can learn more about the differences between each jurisdiction using the resource guide on the Secret Canada website. Journalists use FOIs to obtain records like government contracts, inspection reports, data sets, and emails. A record doesn't have to be a piece of paper. It can be a video or an Excel spreadsheet or a PowerPoint presentation. The key thing is you must request a record. You can't use FOI to ask questions. First, do some homework on the institution. Open your search engine, type the name of the public body, and freedom of information. Some jurisdictions have an application fee, which ranges between five and $25. Does this place have one? If so, whom should the check be made out to? Some institutions let you submit requests online. What's the address? Write all of this down. Most places make this information readily available. And if they don't, just find the main address and write your request, Attention, Freedom of Information Office. And I have an example. Put your name and contact information at the top, then the public body's name and contact information. Now we're on to your first paragraph. Your first paragraph is going to read something like this. This is a Freedom of Information request for records held by Natural Resources Canada, or the City of Toronto, or the Ministry of the Environment. Paragraph two has two components, the what and the when. What exactly are you looking for, and what is the time frame that you want searched? Some requests are very straightforward. I am seeking a copy of such and such report that was released on such and such date but others may need to be more broad. Consider the type of records that might be available. Is there an incident report, inspection files, emails? Think about who might have the records, the deputy minister's office, the communications team. Be specific if you can. Remember, the bigger the request, the longer and more expensive it's going to be to fulfill. Often, it's worth calling the FOI analyst before you file. They have a legal duty to assist you, and it's in their interest to help you narrow your request. Paragraph three is very straightforward. Let the analyst know where to reach you if they have questions. And I always make a note to say that I'd like to receive information electronically because institutions will charge you photocopying fee. They may also charge you for search time if your request is very involved. Finally, sign your letter, write a check if it's required, and you're done. If this is a request for your own personal information, you will need to include a copy of government-issued photo identification. An example of a personal request would be something that could only be released to you, like your health information or your employment file if you work for government. If your request is for general records, you don't need to provide identification. Within 30 days, the public body is supposed to notify you that they're processing your request. Fingers crossed that you get a reply soon, but depending on the ask and the institution, it could take months to actually receive your records. Speed things along by being organized. Check in with the FOI analyst every few weeks. Make notes about every conversation. And know that you can always appeal if you're unhappy with the institution's response. To learn more, scan this QR code to be directed to the Secret Canada website, where we have a ton of resources, like FOI sample letters, 
a guide to how to file an appeal, as well as a searchable database of completed access requests collected from hundreds of public bodies across the country. Thank you so much for watching and good luck. Thank you.